Okay, welcome back to Chris and Katie Read. I'm Kristen. I'm Katie. And we like to read. Um, okay, so today we are doing part two of our audiobook rankings. Yes. Um, we just realized we had a lot to say and we listened to a lot of books. We listened to a lot of books. If you are an audible listener, Kristen is a master. And I'm only an hour and two, 120 <laughs> hours away like, excuse me. from being a master, so. Okay, hey, so today I'm going to go ahead and link part one in case you haven't seen that one. Um, so feel free to check that out. Um, and this one. <laughs> feel free to see that one before this one. <laughs> um, we're going to be ranking the rest of our audiobooks from amazing down to unlistenable. Let's so, do it. Let's dive in. So let's talk about the mortal instruments. Okay, obviously, I gotta get closer to these so I can be putting stuff over there. Um, obviously, a great series. We're well beloved. We have tattoos from this book series. Yeah. Um, I ordered a bootleg version of the audiobook on a CD back in the day, <laughs> and it was wild. Okay, the Ooh. characters are played British. Jace, Alec, Izzy, British. They're British. And then the accents disappear in the next book. No, it's never explained. It's wild. It's an actress that you would recognize. She's in um, Call for a Good Time. That's not what it's called. But For a Good Time. I think it's just called For a Good Time. She's American. Read some of the British accent. I don't understand it. Was um, it May Whitman or did they no, re-record no, no, no. it with May Whitman? May Whitman re-recorded them and it's amazing. So I'll go ahead and go with like the version if you were to listen to it now, you would get the Mae Whitman version. I'm gonna say very enjoyable. Okay, right. City of Ash is fine. The narrator, it's like, here's the thing about Cassandra Clare is she, after her books blew up, I think just went on a campaign to get actors that she liked and wanted to meet to narrate her books. Which I love. Because use, use your fame for yourself. Absolutely. That's what I would be doing. I'm selfish. 100%. We have Ed Westwick, who is from Gossip Girl. Chuck Bass himself. Yeah. Molly Quinn, who's from Castle. Alexis from Castle. And she's so great. She reminds me a lot of the Crescent City narrator. You have Jason, Jason Doran <laughs> from Veronica Mars, an icon. Sophie Turner, obviously Game of Thrones. And James um, Marsters. Spike from Buffy. Wow. Clearly, she was a Buffy fan. Clearly, Cassandra Clare is a Buffy fan. Yeah, obviously. Um, oh my gosh, and Marina. Yes, yeah. Firefly. This is the yes. only book she has ever narrated. And it was Lady Midnight? Yes. So she's clearly a Firefly Shut fan. Uh, somebody from Teen Wolf, who I think she likes. Teen what? Teen Wolf. 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 <laughs> Wolf.com. <laughs> from Teen Wolf. Team Wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> that one says wolf. <laughs> Gossip uh, Girl and nothing. Your <laughs> spreadsheet is savage as fuck. We're back on our business bullshit with our spreadsheet. You know what? She, he was a Gossip Girl and he, she was a nothing. Um, okay, so I will put City of Fallen Angel. Which, okay, here's the problem. City of Fallen Angel is Ed and Molly. Ed is British, and he talks really quiet and mumbly, and you have to turn it up. And then Molly speaks very clearly and is American. So it just takes you out of the characters. Individually, I love them. Together, I don't. I'm going to go ahead and say it was fine. Okay. Um, okay, I actually... This one was fine. It's somebody I, um, I don't know. that They actually narrated the next one. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Molly Oh, wait, no, no, no. They did Fallen Angel. And then, so, like, they, it was when they were being released in opposite order. So, Ed read another one. With the girl that was in nothing. With another girl, not Molly. So, Heather, it was very confusing. Heather Lind. We know her name. Okay. But Heather, or excuse me, Ed reading Will and Jim. Heartthrob. I mean, it's amazing because you just, like, picture Ed and he's so hot. So, it's yeah. a whole thing. Um, but it was, it was just fine. The next book, Lost Souls, was just Molly. I'm going to say it was great. I really enjoyed it. I don't mind listening to a girl read the guy's parts. It bothers me more to listen to a guy read the girl's parts. Agreed. And then lastly, of that series, City of Heavenly Fire. I mean, it's just not great. I love Jason. This is Lost Souls. 
That's Heavenly Fire. Okay, where are we? This is Heavenly Fire. Okay, what's happening? I'm out of control. Not great. Lossals. Where did I put this? Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Molly, good. Sophie, love you, girl. What's your accent doing? It's all over the place. I don't think she was given good instructions on what to do. Yeah. I also don't think she's read any of the other books, and this is the finale, and it's just like, it's just not directed well or something. There's a breakdown in communication, and then Jason kind of sounds like nerdy and American, and she cannot hide her British accent. It was a mess. Not great. Um, Yikes. Then I would say, you've read some of the next ones, or have you listened to the no, next I've ones? No, I've only listened to Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. Okay, for City of Angel. You already did City of Fallen Angel. No, City Print Clockwork Angel. Oh. It's that one. That's Clock. Okay, Clockwork Angel, I would say, is enjoyable. She was very fine. enjoyable. That's she was very enjoyable. Way. Yeah, very enjoyable. Okay. Um, Prince, I'm going to say fine just because, again, it was like kind of hard to understand, but it was hotter. <laughs> For an audiobook, it was hot. Hot? It was hot. Clockwork Princess. Daniel um, Sharman. It was Teen fine. Wolf. He was fine. Teen Wolf guy. I don't know who he is. Some might. Uh, Lady Midnight. Did you listen to that? Nope. You don't listen to like any of these audiobooks. I know. I just get them and read them immediately. Lady Midnight is narrated by Marina Bassarine. Is that how you say her last name? Bassarine from Firefly. It's the only book she's ever narrated. I'll say very enjoyable. I love her. She's so great. Um, Lord of Shadows, narrated by the one and only Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Absolutely sign me up. Why am I blind? Is Oh, did I not put? I don't see it. Okay, so add to this Queen of Air and Darkness. Oh, I definitely saved it I'm too. I'm so sorry. Fine. We put it in fine. Some of these, these are just fine, I think, but hold on. Uh, okay, that leaves us to, so I would include Queen of Air and Darkness in Very Enjoyable. Okay. Whole series. Wow, look at the whole trilogy. Then we get to our next, so far, do all, it's two, but will be trilogy. Uh, Chain of Iron. And Chain of Gold. Chain of Gold. Or Chain of Iron. For, well, Chain of Gold first. Yeah. Not great. Not great. Chain of Iron, not great. Not great. I mean, I will still listen to them, but my God, Lucy Harrendell is my least favorite character mm -hmm. solely because of narration. I believe it. The way that she voices her is so annoying and makes her sound so whiny that I, I cannot. I'm dragging things while you're talking, sorry. Enola, very enjoyable. Beautiful Disaster was fine. Nothing to write home about. Ella Enchanted. Okay, we're going back up top. You haven't seen that wow. category in a while. Amazing. I love that. Sound effects, everything. It's I've so read great. all three of these, but I've only listened to one. Really? Yeah. Well, I read Ella Enchanted in like fourth grade. <laughs> uh, the Expanse series, I would say, is fine. Okay. I definitely think this is taking off as our leading category, Katie. Um, because mm -hmm. guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna hit you with shift. Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, you heard it here first. Just, just fine. Just the fine. Yeah, honeymooners. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to talk about it. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, enjoyable. Breezy. Seven, seven hundred husbands of Eleven. <laughs> seven husbands of Ethel and Hugo. I think very enjoyable. Wow. Yeah, I another book I read in a day. Or listen to in a day. Uh, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, the narration? Yeah. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Nothing special. It's very heavy content, so yeah, she did I mean, she could. She, yeah, she did a great yeah. job. Um, Ninth House, I haven't listened to it. Oh, um, I would say, ooh, I actually really, really liked it. Okay. It very enjoyable. Okay. The, the narrator that they picked for both of the main characters... Just, like, so true to, like, how I would picture them. Okay. Um, the Duke and I, Bridgerton. Mm, it's fine. 
These are, I believe, recorded before the show blew up. I would not be surprised if we get a re-recording. A re-recording. Um, Fable and Namesake. Yeah. I really liked his audiobooks. Yeah. Fine or very like, enjoyable. I think very enjoyable. I think they had a little something, you know? Yeah, I the narrator was doing a lot. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. And like I liked her Wes, like too. Like I liked yes. all of her voices. Yeah, I agree. Um, nothing really stuck out. Um, House of the Cerulean Sea. Yeah. Fine. It's like it's a fine, 45 folks. year old British guy who's like fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Crown of Gilded Bones. I didn't put I the. Know. It's all three are read by the same I know narrator. If I listened to that. Well, did you listen to Blood and Ash? No. Oh, I, I'm the only one who listened to it. Um, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. okay. I didn't listen to these either. Okay. A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's kind of monotone. Mm. Like I honestly don't think it's great. Like. I don't think it's done well. Mm. I don't know what it is about it. Now, A Court of Silver Flames. I find very enjoyable. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? You feel the emotion, and I feel like the pacing's done so really well. what are these? These are the cover for the quiz. You had uh, to put a picture in, and it loaded in here. Okay. So then... <laughs> okay! Our, our crowning glory... If there was even, like, a more of a category, I feel like it would be that. Yeah. Then. The number one in one spot. The, wow. The Bridge Kingdom and Traitor Queen. I mean. Wow. We should have made another row that's just, like, perfection. Perfection. They're amazing. They're so good. So good. Quality. Sounds. The voices they pick. Sounds. They're, it's like we're in the Dolby, baby. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we only had five in the Amazing. And honestly, I didn't realize how many I'd have in the not great, but I should have because we complain about these regularly. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd have more unlistable, but honestly, Katie, that's because I would probably put Shadow and Bone down here. You would? Yeah. She's a main character okay. in Rule of Wolves and King of Scars. Okay. Sing. I just don't. She goes, sing to Selena. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if the plan was to be remembered, she did it. She, she nailed it. We remember her. <laughs> so, wait, what's happening here? I don't know. I just have them. I'm just hovering them by Do each you other. just want, I mean, like, is it just these two that bother you? It's not the rest of them? No, they all do. I just didn't want to be dramatic. Well, I tried to put them in unlistable, and you put them in not great. Okay, I'm putting them in So, up. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, no. Okay, okay. And I'm not going to touch it again. So this is where we are currently. We listen to a lot of audiobooks, though. So maybe we'll do a another one at the end of the year. And that was fun. That was, I like this. this yeah, it's cool. All right, guys. Well, that is all of our audiobooks that we've listened to, ranked for you. So you can determine if you want to waste a credit on Darker Shade of Magic. The answer should be no. No. You should pick up the book and read it. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I would say that about the Inheritance Games too. I wish that I had just read it because A, it's a mystery and I feel like I missed some clues. Um, <laughs> yeah. B, the Texas accent is just too marvelous. Um, until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Katie. And we like to read. Bye.